السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello my great students in grade 6 I'm your teacher with Adil Awadi from Al Hadi Al Muhammadi schools Today we are going to continue our lessons from unit 10 Today's lesson is grammar Pupils book page 125 and wealth book page 104 For today we are going to have two outcomes and they are Students should be able to use the second conditional to talk about unreal situations and answer variable questions related to the second conditional. Now, let's move with your pupils book page 125. Question number one, walk and read. It is about second conditional. Let's watch the video, then we return back and read. Let's watch it together. Second conditional. If I had my phone, I would take a photo. If I had my phone, I'd take a photo. <laughs> if you took a photo, I would not forgive you. If you took a photo, I wouldn't forgive you. <laughs> if it did not have my shoe, I would chase it. If it didn't have my shoe, I'd chase it. If I had my phone, I'd take a photo. If you took a photo, I wouldn't forgive you. If it didn't have my shoe, I'd chase it. Yes, now let's read the sentences together. If I had my phone, I'd take a photo. If you took a photo, I wouldn't forgive you. If it didn't have my shoe, I'd choo chase it. I'd equals I would. And look at this box. Use the second conditional to talk about unreal situation. If I had funding, I'd make more. I'd make more if I had funding. Now, let's move to this slide and it is from your booklet. Unit 10, page 5. The structure of a second conditional sentence. A second conditional sentence consists of two clauses, an if clause and a main clause. We have in the second conditional sentences, if clause, yes, and the main clause. In if clause, we have if. If the if clause comes first, a comma is usually used. If the if clause comes second, there is no need for a comma. Yeah, if the if clause comes first, if I had a million dollars, we have to use a comma before the main 
clothes, I would buy a big house. Do not forget, we use a comma. And we do not use a comma if the if clause doesn't come first. If we begin with the main clause, I would buy a big house, then it is followed. Followed by the if clause, if I had mil a million dollars, we do not use a comma. We use different verb, fo verb forms in each part of a second conditional sentence. In the if clause, we use the if plus the subject plus simple past verb. Simple past verb. And the main clause, we use the subject would and pays verb. I would buy a big house. This is the main clause would plus infinitive verb if I had a million dollars. And had is verb to or past verb. And pay attention, we can use didn't plus base verb to represent the past symbol. Using the second conditional. The second conditional is used to talk about things which are unreal, not true, or not possible in the present or the future. Let's have a look on question number two. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb in brackets. Yes, you have one minute to think about it. Yes, my shining stars, go on. Let's have a look on your answers. Yes, if he had a kangaroo cup, he would spill his drinks. We begin with the if clause, so we have comma, had is the past simple verb, had, and in the many clause, we use would plus not plus spill the base verb. Sentence number two, they would do better at school if they were more motivated. We start the sentence with the many clause. So, we do, do, do not use a comma. And the main clause we have, in the main clause we have would plus this verb, which to do, would do. And be the past symbol of be is where, because we have the subject there. Number three, there would be less disease if more vaccines were available. Again, we start with the main clause. So we don't have we don't have a comma, and the main clause we use would plus in place where p would be, and if more vaccines were it is the past simple verb where. Number four, if we had funding, and a comma because we start with the if clause, we would sell our product all over the world. Would plus sell the base verb. Sentence number five. If we didn't have lessons, we wouldn't study as much. If we didn't not and have, and this is the if clause, so we have comma. And we use the negative form of the past simple by using didn't plus the base verb have. Number six, lots of people wouldn't have jobs if there weren't so many factories. We start with the main clause. We use would and we use not, wouldn't, and the base verb. And we do not use comma. Good answers, my wonderful students. Let's move together to question number three. Work in pairs, complete the sentences with your own ideas. Yes, you have one minute to think about it and do not forget that number one is done. If I was 20, I would travel the world. Yes, you have one minute to think about it. Let's have a look on your answers. Yes, 
Number two, if I went to the USA, I would visit my uncle. School would be better if it finished earlier. I wouldn't be happy if I didn't have a job. The world would be a better place if we all smiled more. Brilliant answers and ideas. Now, let's move together to your workbook, page number 104. Question number one, circle the correct words, complete the sentences. You have one minute to think about it. Begin my shining stars. Now, let's have a look on your answers. Now, let's have a look on your answers. Let's begin with number two. Number one is done. If she didn't work so hard, she'd fail her exams. And this D equals would. It is followed by pace fair. Number three, schools would be more fun if we did more sports. Sam wouldn't be happy if he moved to another school. The if the chorus with the past symbol there. Number five, if our class didn't try to the playground, it wouldn't be so, so didn't, wouldn't be such a nice place. Number six, the school would be a better place if more people volunteered. Number seven, if you would be or wear, yes, if you were more careful, you wouldn't spill things. And number eight, I'd visit New York if I lived in the USA. Good answers, my great students. Now, let's move to question number two. Complete the text. Yes. In our class, we've been thinking about which churches it is important to support. This is what we discussed. You have one minute to complete the text. Begin my shining stars. Now, let's have a look on your answers. Yes. Health. If scientists didn't research vaccines, more people would catch diseases. Didn't. Plus space fair, and it is past simple. In the main clothes, and what plus space fair, which is catch, in the main clothes, and this is the F clothes with didn't research. Number two, we would develop more inventions like the kangaroo cup if there was more funding. The main clothes with what plus space fair. Animals. If we protected more endangered species, fewer animals would become extinct. It is again the many clothes we use wood plus space wear. Animal habitats would be safer if we got rid of pollution. It is the if clothes we use the past symbol verb got. Education. If we gave everyone the chance to learn more people would find jobs again it is the if clause so we use the past symbol verb gave in brackets we have give and the past symbol verb gave we would inspire more people if we shared our vision the many clues we use word plus space verb all people if we organize visits all people wouldn't be lonely. It is the many clues we use would plus not and the base verb. All people would find shopping easier if we help them. It is the ethicals with the past symbol verb help. Good answers, my superheroes. Now let's move to question number three. Choose the three of the ideas below. For each idea, write two sentences about what you would or wouldn't do. We have win 1 million, visit the Antarctic, be fitter, have more time, live in Australia. Let's have a look on this example. If I had, if I won 1 million, I'd buy a zoo. The second uh, idea, if I won 1 million, I wouldn't spend it all. You have one minute to think about it. Let's have a look on this sentence. 
if I visited the Antic, Ant if I visited the Antarctic, I would be happy. And the second idea, if I visited Antarctic, I wouldn't be bored. For the rest of the IT, uh, ideas below, it is your homework. Do not forget it. That's all for today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.